please have a roll call. Commissioner Conway? Here. Dawson? Here. Spellman? Here. I can't hear you, Peter, but I see you. <laughs> You're speaking low. I Greenberg? Here. Maxwell? Here. Nielsen? Here. Chair Schifrin? Here. We now move on to, uh, and, and no one's absent. Are there any statements of disqualification? Is anybody in the audience, uh, does anybody want to do oral communications? Is there anybody in the audience who um, wants to speak during oral communications? Chair, there are two members of the public on the line. If any member of the public wishes to address the board at oral communications, please press star nine to raise your hand. I don't see any raised hands. Okay, let's move on to approval of the minutes uh, from October 14th, 2020. Are there any comments on the minutes? Chair, or we're requesting like they be continued. Pardon me? Staff is requesting that you continue approval of the minutes to the next regular meeting. Oh, okay. Um, any objection to continuing the minutes? Would somebody like to move to continue the minutes to the next meeting? I'll make a motion to continue the meeting minutes until the next uh, planning commission hearing. A second? I'll second. I'll second. Any, any discussion? Can we have a roll call vote, please? Commissioner Conway? Aye. Dawson? Aye. Spellman? Aye. Greenberg? Aye. Maxwell? Aye. Nielsen? Aye. Schifrin? Aye. Uh, the motion to continue the minutes to the next meeting passes unanimously. We now move on to public hearings, 238 Carbonara Drive, uh, File number CP190111, slope variation design permit and variance to construct a single family dwelling on a slope exceeding 30% to the second floor that exceeds the maximum floor area permitted on a substandard lot. Um, can we have a staff report, please? Yes, good evening. This is Ryan Bain, senior planner. Um, Let's see. So this proposal is for a design permit, slope variance, and variance to allow for the development of a 3,273 square foot single family home and attached garage on a vacant site zone for a single family home. Um, the project was last heard the Planning Commission um, on June 4th of 2020. Um, the project was continued indefinitely due to a concern uh, about the proposed categorical exemption from CEQA that was uh, being proposed as part of the project. Um, although the site is not mapped um, for as, as a sensitive habitat, the site is within a mile or so of known habitats for several listed species and is adjacent to an open space, open space area. So um, based on that proximity, uh, the majority of the commission at that meeting determined that the project um, could not be considered exempt from CEQA without a, a biotic investigation, ruling out the impact of the project on the potential presence of, of um, species and, and that a biotic review should be required. So a biotic report was completed um, by Albion Environmental in June of 2020. Um, the report indicated the presence of the San Francisco dusky-footed wood rat nest within the project area. Um, this is a species that is listed um, as a, a species of special concern by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Um, so an initial study and mitigated negative decks were prepared, um, confirming that the project would result in an impact to the nest 
but that mitigation measures would reduce that impact to a less than significant level. So the mitigation measures uh, require a pre-construction survey, uh, delineation of a buffer zone around those nests, and development and implementation of a wood rat um, relocation plan in consultation with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife if it is not possible to avoid uh, one or more nests during construction. So the environmental review um, has in also included standard mitigation measures regarding the timing of tree pruning and removal in order to avoid impacts to nesting birds and bats. And all these mitigation measures um, that were presented as part of the mitigated neg deck have been included as conditions of approval. So as, as condition, the project meets all the required site area standards and the findings uh, for the approval of the design permit variance and slope variance. The staff is recommending approval based on the findings and the conditions of approval uh, provided with your staff reports. And that concludes my presentation. I'm available for any questions. Thank you very much. Do any commissioners have que uh, questions of staff? Seeing none, I'm going to open the public hearing. Are there any members of the public who would like to testify on this matter? You have up to three minutes. Again, if any member of the public wishes to address the board on this matter, please press star nine to indicate that you want to be recognized. I don't see anyone's raised their hand, Chair. Okay, I'll give it another few seconds and then I will close the public hearing. <coughs> Seeing no members of the public who want to testify, I'm going to bring back the I, I don't, I'm going to close the public hearing, bring the item back to the commission for discussion, consideration, and action. Do any commissioners want to uh, comment on, on this project? Um, I would help if the uh, screen was turned back to the commission so I could see hands. Uh, Commissioner Dawson. There we go. Sorry, couldn't find my mute. Um, I, I just wanted to just have a couple brief comments about this. Um, and I want to thank my fellow commissioners and staff um, for um, supporting this project going back um, for the environmental review. I think as, as the planning commission, I think one of our charges is, is really to be thoughtful um, about all projects, but certainly projects um, in the wildland sort of urban interface. And um, I think going, having this go through the process, I think this is just a great example of the process working, right? Went back to environmental review. There were, were some concerns and now that is integrated into this project going forward. So I just wanna thank the commissioners who supported this going back for the full secret review and just encourage us all to be especially thoughtful um, moving forward when there's these projects in these wildland urban interface and have them go through the process like this one um, so that they can move forward. So um, thank you. Other commissioners want to comment on the, uh, make any comments on the, on this project or its analysis? You know what, I'm just going to say a, um, uh, you know, say a few words. But, along the lines of what Commissioner Dawson said. I think for me, this is a reason why it's important that these kinds of projects that need, um, that you know, have potential effects on the environment, either through slopes or through the uh, urban wildland interface, come before the commission and have an independent review and not simply have uh, the staff determining whether there are issues or not. Not that the staff doesn't have uh, a, a significant interest in these issues, uh, but that it's important to have an independent analysis as well from um, people who haven't worked with the staff through the process. So I um, want to 
appreciate the work that the staff did, and um, I, I think it has made for uh, a better project. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be supportive of it at this time. Is there, are there any other comments? If not, would somebody like to make a motion uh, to take action on this, uh, on the staff recommendation? Sure, I, I would move to accept the staff recommendation. Second that. It's been moved and seconded to uh, approve the recommendation that the Planning Commission acknowledge the environmental determination, approve the design permit, slope variance, and variance based on the findings listed below and the conditions of approval listed in Exhibit A. Uh, Commissioner Stelman, did you want to say something before we vote on the motion? No, I was just seconding the motion. I thought you, I got that. So it's been moved and seconded. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, uh, well, have a roll call vote, please. Commissioner Conway? Aye. Dawson? Aye. Stelman? Aye. Greenberg? Aye. Maxwell? Aye. Nielsen? Aye. Schifrin? Aye. Uh, the motion passes unanimously. Uh, we now move on to inf uh, information items. Are there any information items? Hi, Chair Schifrin. This is Samantha from the Planning Department. I do have a couple information items. Just want to let you know some items that are coming up. Okay. Thank you. Um, oh, okay. Um, so since your last meeting, we actually had a first and second reading at the council, um, and they approved changes to the beekeeping ordinance, the parking ordinance, and then the streamlining and cleanup, uh, cleanup changes to the ordinance that you had heard previously. So those were all approved. Um, and then coming up on the next agenda, you'll hear a presentation on um, a resilient coastline from uh, Tiffany Wise West. And you'll also hear a project um, at 119 Coral, which is Housing Manor Matters, and it's um, 120 studio units that are to be used as permanent supportive housing. And then that includes ground floor space for supportive care services and some residential amenities. Um, so those are some upcoming projects. Could I ask uh, when the uh, council is going to hear the commission recommendation on the Section 8 option under the inclusionary ordinance? Uh, yeah, let me look that up for you. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's see. That looks like that is scheduled for November 24th. Great, thank you. Any questions of staff on um, information items? Are there any subcommittee advisory body oral reports? I, I can do just an, an update on the um, Affordable Housing Committee. Great. So um, we've concluded our work, and um, I understand that the report is being noticed. I haven't heard exactly what the date is. It'll be returning, but it's sometime after. I think it's the first meeting in December um, was the estimate when we concluded our work. Could I ask whether the subcommittee considered the latest, uh, one of the recent bills that was passed by the state legislature having to do with school district housing? Yes, we did. Great. Okay, um, thank you very much. Um, there is no report on the West Cliff TAC because um, things are happening, but we'll be hearing about it at our next meeting from Wise West. Are there any items that commissioners would like to refer to future agendas? 
Seeing none, I want to thank you all for this 15-minute meeting, and uh, I'll say we're adjourned, and I'll see you at our next regularly scheduled meeting. Have a good evening.